Hello, sports fans and football fans of the Sportsman Z Football League. Today I have an update on the Football League. We have played through eight weeks. So I am going to show you the scores from week eight and from week seven. And we're going to look at the standings as they are currently. So let's get into that. Uh, open with Excel. Gonna open the magic sheet. And so here you see the week seven and eight scores. In week seven, Baltimore uh, lost to Pittsburgh 28 24. The Jets in week seven beat uh, Michigan 28 17. Um, Cleveland beat New Jersey 37 to 10. Dallas and San Francisco had a very close game, but San Francisco ended up winning 17 16 in that one. Chicago thrashed Green Bay 35 19, and Philadelphia beat the Detroit Lions 18 to 17. So <clears throat> that was an interesting week. But this past week, week eight, the game of the week was New York and Cleveland. And I put that up on the website. If you haven't seen it, you haven't watched that game, I suggest you go watch it. Uh, but in, in the game of the week, uh, Cleveland beat the Jets, who were winning the um, AFC by a game. They beat them 31-21. Philadelphia beat San Francisco 21-17. Uh, Baltimore beat New Jersey 26-21. Pittsburgh beat Michigan 34-28. And the Chicago Bears on a two-game winning streak. And as you will see, they have a chance to climb into the a possibility to be a postseason team. They just barely squeaked by Dallas at 21-20. And I think that that was it, yes. So, and, you know, let well, while we're at it, let's take a look at Week 9. The Week 9 matchups will be San Francisco at Chicago. That will be the game of the week. And that will be the televised game. Detroit at Baltimore, Dallas at New York, Philadelphia at Michigan, Cleveland at Pittsburgh, New Jersey at Green Bay. So we have a lot of interconference games going on in week nine. So um, this past week was certainly more important for the standings than, um, than the interconference week will be. But still, Let's take a look at the standings as they are right now. This is the AFC currently. You got the New York Jets and the Cleveland Browns both tied at six and two. But, uh, and, and remember the playoffs are the top two teams in each conference playing in the conference championship. So right now it doesn't matter. New York and Cleveland are both six and two and they are both a game and a half better than Pittsburgh so if the season ended today, those two would be in the conference championship. And if they ended up with the same record, I would just flip a coin to see who the home team was. Um, or maybe I would go by points for or something, but there wouldn't be a playoff. There wouldn't be like any type of a game to decide who really should be the home team. Um, but they're both six and two. And then Pittsburgh, four, three and one, a game and a half behind them. Then Michigan's four and four, and so is Baltimore. They're both two games back. And we have the New Jersey Generals who are eliminated. They are one, six, and one. They are four and a half games back, and there's only four games left in the season. So if I do my elementary math, I would have to come to the conclusion that New Jersey would need an extra game to probably get into the playoffs, so they won't be. Now we look at the NFC. You got Detroit, seven and one. They played eight games this year, amazing. 
They've only lost once. And uh, they are the team that has uh, Drew Brees at quarterback, and he is taking them to great heights. In fact, you can see he, they've scored the most points in the conference, and they have allowed the fewest points. So Detroit is really a force to be reckoned with. Green Bay, though, is 5-3, and three, having lost to them this past week, and are now two games behind them. And Chicago is right behind Green Bay at four and four, and three games behind Detroit. But I mean, they're, I don't think we're gonna catch Detroit, but we could catch Green Bay for sure. And this week we play San Francisco, and you can see where San Francisco is. They're two and six, and they're out of it. So is Dallas, two and six, and they're out of it. And then you got uh, Philadelphia below Chicago at three and five, They've scored 161 points and allowed 201, and they are four games back. They are hanging on by a thread. They're four games back with four games to play. Um, so they, um, you know what? Actually, I really shouldn't have said that they're eliminated, that New Jersey's eliminated. Because, well, no, they are. They are because Cleveland and New York have the same record. But uh, Dallas and San Francisco technically aren't eliminated because they are five games behind Detroit, but they're only three games behind Green Bay. So technically, they're not eliminated. So I will... I stand corrected on that. They could still make it into the playoffs. Although, again, it's... It's sketchy at best that they will, um, but they still could. New Jersey, though, however, gone. So that is where we stand on week eight. There will be a game of the week. I am anticipating a game of the week next week for week nine, and I will also put out in some way, shape, or form, maybe on my community tab, uh, the other scores of the other games, or maybe even in the game of the week, if the games have all been played by that point. Uh, but you will know what the other um, teams have done in their in their other games in some way. Uh, I will make that available. But that's what I got for you. I just wanted to update everybody. What do you guys think of the league so far? Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, leave a comment below, and hey, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe, and then go watch these football games to catch yourself up, but for right now, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.